Hey guys, I am Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today, boy, I have a different one for you today. I've been doing a lot of research on this company and you may have heard them. You may have heard a lot of their commercials and I'm quite annoyed with those commercials. So I was gearing up to come up with a really great video and then I had to change it all for whatever reason, right? So uh, let me just get into it. I'm gonna talk about today that's right, Mint Mobile, and what has actually happened in, in the more recent times. And I decided, instead of going through the usual route of, hey, let me show you some great screenshots, let me break down all the analysis here and get into a lot of different details, I'm actually just gonna do something that I see a lot of other YouTubers do, and just do a reaction channel. Let's try it. Okay guys, here's uh, the Mint Mobile YouTube channel, and you can see here they have a lot of different videos. I, I've i looked at a few of them. Um, there's some good ones in here. Let me start with one that I think is a good one. Let's go with this one here. 30 seconds, right? Let's... Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. That, that's, wow, okay. So right off the bat, Ryan Reynolds here. We like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. Now, I'm, I'm doing a little foreshadowing here, but you'll get my point later. Let, let, let's, let's hear what he's got to say. names on arenas we put ours on my lower back so naturally okay okay ryan where is that right on your lower back really you have a a mint mobile tattoo i, I want to see it so i want to understand what he means by that because i don't know if that's really a, a good claim right instead of putting your name on arena you put it on your lower back yeah i want to see it let me see that when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation now now that that I will stop. I keep saying, I, 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 reaction videos are are interesting, and I and I, I should probably let it run and then respond. But I like to respond to what he has to say. Yes, Verizon did raise their rates, and I'm going to post a video. They have an economic adjustment charge. Now it's very ridiculous. Yeah, if you know anything about it, it's absolutely absurd that they would add this fee. But people haven't complained. It's what a lot of people do in this in this market. They just go with it. Right, or they do what Ryan's doing. Let's let's let it roll. I'll let it finish, and then uh, I'll have more to say. Decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. And if this were one of their ads, they'd end it here with a happy customer. So we'll end ours with an angry goat. <laughs> really, oh, really. We're gonna be angry goat. Okay, all right. I'm gonna stop it right here because this is the most important part, right, of any commercial. These bottom terms down here, and let me read it to you because. I don't think you're really paying attention, or at least most people don't pay attention to that because they just see, hey, unlimited, $15 a month. How does this really work, right? It says right there, limited time only offer, new activation and upfront payments for three months. That's right, gentlemen and ladies. You have to pay three months at a time. That's how Mint Mobile works. You pay three months in advance. When you first create your account, you're not paying $15. You're paying $45. That's what's required at the beginning. Promotional rate lasts for the first three months. What does that mean? That means this $15 a month claim that they're making is only for the first three months, gentlemen and ladies. You do not pay $45 every three months until you decide to cancel. No, you pay $45 the first month, and then it really is going to depend on the plan, right? So uh, if you look here, taxes and fees extra, just like any other big wireless plan, Unlimited customers using over or greater than 35 gigabytes a month will experience lower speeds. Why is that? Because Mint Mobile doesn't own their network. They're on, I'm gonna leave that for the next video but uh, that I'm gonna react to. They're on a particular network. That network knows Mint Mobile customers versus their regular customers. And if you use more than 35 gigabytes in that month on their network, they throttle you, they pry you down. They put you in a different category. Last part of this is this video stream at 480p. So if you're using Netflix or Disney Plus or you're um, doing other things that require, uh, or even YouTube, if you're watching this video on a Mint Mobile device, you are only gonna see 480p on those, on those uh, streams. Now that may be good for um, your cell phones, but tablets or other mobile devices, if you're tethering your phone to somewhere, your, your speeds will be hindered. 
How do they do that? They know who's talking to their networks. They're able to prio your, your internet speeds down so that you don't get greater than 480p speeds on any of your streaming services. And then it says, see full terms at mintmobile.com. Now this is what I was going to do for a video, but I decided this is much better. So let's, let's keep going. Let's go to the next video I wanna show you. I'm gonna to cut to this one. Let's go to this one here. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds. As owner of Mint Mobile, I'm always looking for new ways to save money on our holiday commercials. That's why this year, our holiday props are just stuff I picked up for $5 from a yard sale. Why, why did you, fi what, what's the benefit? I mean, $5 yard sale, I mean, I can go to a yard sale and buy, I mean, I don't know, let's run, let's let it roll, let's let it roll. And while they may not be much to look at, they're bringing plenty of cheer. Because with the money we saved, we're giving you three months of premium wireless free on it. Oh, oh, wow, okay, wait, wait. So this is their promotion during the holidays. They're gonna give you the first three months for free. Now wait, if you're not paying attention to the bottom of the screen, this is where you're gonna miss it. Limited time, new customer offer. Not everybody's getting three months free, gentlemen and ladies. Only new activations. Required within 45 days or by 115.23. Now this promotion's over with, but I wanna explain something very clear here. Mint Mobile has, has been the experts, or they are, they are claiming they have been the experts in marketing low budget wireless, right? They've, they've perfected it. It's one of the reasons why they were acquired. We'll talk about that in the very next video that I'm gonna get into, but I wanted to talk about this one because I feel like it's, 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 it's warranted, right? They are trying to give away their wireless plans during the holiday season. Why? Because they need more customers. They wanna to try to make themselves relevant. And it's a really big reason why they were acquired by name the company here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna figure it out or you've already figured it out if you haven't, but I'm gonna to get to that in the next video. Last part, additional taxes and fees, restrictions apply, all that you know, mumble jumble. See mintmobile.com for details. Would have loved to at the time really looked into this deal because obviously, right, you aren't gonna pay for the first three months. But if you've been paying attention, the $15 a month part of this isn't even in this commercial. Let's, let's go back and rewatch it. I wanna, I wanna start from the beginning again. Let's start, I'll watch the whole thing. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds. As owner of Mint Mobile, I'm always looking for new ways to save money on our holiday commercials. It's why this year, our holiday props are just stuff I picked up for $5 from a yard sale. And while they may not be much to look at, they're bringing plenty of cheer because with the money we saved, we're giving you three months of premium wireless free on any plan, including unlimited. Yes, those are not stockings. Those are gym socks. Lightly used. So lightly. All right. So if you get, if you get what the promotion here is, they want to give you the first three months free instead of paying the $45 for the first month. And then it changes depending on the plan that you're on, because I'd love to get into the details, but to make a long story short, when you go to sign up for Mint Mobile, whatever plan you pay, uh, you, you pick, you're paying for that rate three months at a time, right? So you may pick a $30 a month plan after the initial $15 a month plan, and you'll have to pay $90 every three months. That's how it works with taxes and fees and other things, right? And then in addition to that, there are data restrictions. Once you reach that limit, yes, it's unlimited wireless, right? You can still make your own phone calls. That's what they, they call unlimited these days, but it's not unlimited data. Your data is metered. It talks about it on all these commercials. If you watch many of them, and I've watched a few of them on TV, I did not watch their whole YouTube channel because I'm not the biggest fan of Mint Mobile, case in point, the next video that I'm gonna get to. So let's get to it. Two hey minutes. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Siever, CEO of T-Mobile. Wait, wait, wait. This is a guy who works for T-Mobile. What, what is he doing on Mint Mobile's channel, right? I've already told you, you, you got it. As the uncarrier, we put customers first in everything we do, like being the only wireless provider that offers both the best network and the best value. <laughs> the best network and the best value. Can you quantify that for me, please? Can you tell me what makes T-Mobile the best value? You just cost less? You're using 5G technology. Your 5G is not as good as Verizon's 5G. It's different than AT&T's 5G. Let's, let's really talk about that. Let's debate those things. Because honestly, yes, you have 5G, but
But is that 5G the same? And, and, and what do you pay for it? And, and why is it so much more important? Why is it so much of a better value, right? Because, I, because it says 5G on my phone? Let's keep going. Let's so keep today, going. I am thrilled to announce that T-Mobile plans to acquire Mint Mobile, a wireless brand that shares our customer first commitment. And here with me to share the news is... Okay, customer first commitment. What does that mean? Does that mean you just charge less? Yeah, that's what most people want. They don't want to overpay. That's the problem with, my, with wireless. Most people think I'm being raked over because these fees are insane. They, they added an economics adjustment charge. They, they, you know, they, they can't tether my phone for a while. You couldn't do that. Even back in the day, you used to have to pay for every text message, whether you wanted it or not. This is the problem with the wireless industry. It's been that way forever. So is that why you're customer first? Because you cost less? And Reynolds, owner of Mint Mobile. Thank you, Mike. Here's We're Mike. Here's Ryan. Go ahead. Let's, let's hear what you got. On T-Mobile's network since its inception, uh, and the reason people have such a great experience with Mint is due to the T-Mobile network, especially its unrivaled lead in 5G. Well, Ryan, we are so happy to have you and the whole Mint team join the T-Mobile family. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna show you something else real quick because I really do feel like this is important for you to see. So when you go to MintMobile.com, let me let me pull it up here. Hang on. Okay, guys, when you go there, right, this is the first thing you got to do. You got to check your eligibility. So you may not be able to even take advantage of this, first of all. That's, that's, that's the first hurdle, right? And then once you get through that, right, and you look at, hey, let me look at some of these plans. These are the different plans right here. Four gigs a month at $15 a month. Now, notice you pay $15 a month, but you're paying $45 for three months of service. That's how all of these plans are structured. The unlimited plan is $30 a month, which is definitely di not different in any way than other premium wireless carriers when it comes to what you pay per month. The only difference is you're gonna pay $90 for the first three months of your service at the beginning. Okay, I, I digress. I'm just gonna keep going, right? The other parts of this that I found very interesting when you come to this thing, right? You, you could do the family plan, your family plan, you get two lines of $15 a month, all that crap. All right, so I had to do some digging and I found it. So right here it says premium wireless for $15 a month and it says see for yourself. And they have this, this comparison chart. Now, if you're paying a good enough attention here and you've looked at this, which big wireless company is missing? Verizon, AT&T, and oh, where's, where's T-Mobile? That's because T-Mobile is the the carrier for Mint plans. When you activate a phone, you're activating it on their network. That's why T-Mobile's not listed here. And that's one of the reasons why Ryan Reynolds and the folks that own T-Mobile, or Mint Mobile, sorry, I'm gonna, it's gonna be uh, difficult. It's a difficult video for me because I gotta put them both together at some point and then separate them. When Mint Mobile first started, Ryan Reynolds wasn't an owner of Mint Mobile. He came into this, he started advertising it. A lot of folks have gotten onto it and T-Mobile saw this as an opportunity. What is the opportunity? The opportunity is to increase their customer base more than, than ever at this point. We will acquire Mint Mobile, they become our customers, and we can plead a bigger case to the government for more breaks, to get more money from the consumers, to put people in these different types of plans that AT&T and Verizon don't have. And rather than get into semantics right here, you can see, you can see here very, uh, very quickly, I'm gonna decline this here, hang on. You can see here very quickly at a high level, they're representing their four gig plan at $15 a month and they're saying everybody else is at 40. Well, that's because you're not really looking at the full picture when it comes to Verizon and AT&T. They don't include a 10 gig plan, right? These are all unlimited plans they're talking about here. It's just how much usage you have until you get metered, until it slows down. When it comes down to it in the end, right, you have to realize something, that this isn't that much of a different value than other wireless carriers. And when you really look at it, the only big advantage you have here is that you pay three months at a time. So let's keep going. Well, I wouldn't call it a family, Mike. A family's a place for- oh, Wait, wait, let's back it up. In 5G. Well, Ryan, we are so happy to have you and the whole Mint team join the T-Mobile family. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it a family, Mike. 
A family is a place for misdirected hopes and dreams. I'm hoping this will be much better than that. <laughs> well. <laughs> wow, that was a great joke. But seriously, how does that really sell me on Mint Mobile? I, it doesn't. Go ahead. Mobile is all about value. So we're excited to continue Mint's famous $15 a month pricing. And I'm really excited about even more good stuff to come. And T-Mobile has assured me that our incredibly improvised and borderline reckless messaging strategy will also remain untouched. I don't, I don't remember the word reckless, Ryan. Well, I wrote it into the contract with Crayon Mike. Okay, uh, maybe reckless just means not funny? Or a hard attempt at being funny? Because Ryan, that's about all you've really done with these commercials. I absolutely deplore all these commercials. Every time I see one of these Mint Mobile commercials, I, I shake my fist and I say, read the fine print because it is not a good deal. The crap, I, I don't know how else to put it. You can get a better deal from a major wireless carrier. You could go to uh, T-Mobile today and get some of the same deals that Mint Mobile is representing. The only real substantive difference between Mint Mobile's deals and the deals you could negotiate yourself or do yourself is that you're paying three months at a time. Let's let's go back a little bit. I'll I'll hear what they have to say. I don't I don't remember the word reckless, Ryan. Well, I wrote it into the contract with Crayon Mike. <laughs> yeah, another. Well, joke. either way, we're so happy that Mint Mobile and Ultra Mobile will play a big part in T-Mobile's future. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He said Mint Mobile and Ultra Mobile. What's Ultra Mobile, right? You're asking yourself. Go look it up. It's wild, right? Mint Mobile has two companies, not just one, two, and T-Mobile took both of them. Customers everywhere will benefit from the combination. Yeah, and along with the entire Mint Mobile team and my maximum effort teams, I'm just absolutely thrilled with every aspect of this new venture. I'm certain that I'm finally going to fill whatever hole I have inside my soul which possesses me to emphasize external success over quieting an inner child, <laughs> futilely craving some sort of illusory acknowledgement from my now deceased father. You okay, Ryan? Yeah, just excited. Yeah. <laughs> when do we hug? I think we better do it. I think we better do it right now. Oh, God. I, I'm speechless, guys. I'm speechless. Like, really, I feel like a lot of people have just been played by Ryan Reynolds. How do I even put this? If you really want to know how to do this effectively, don't listen to these hype commercials, right? Th these are... 30 second and two minute, you know, 30 second, two minute spots. They actually had a spot in the, in the Super Bowl. I watched it and I, I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. It was ruining my day. People get, get into the hype, right, of these types of things. And you can see where it leads us, right? In the end, T-Mobile is now going to take all those customers. It was in their plan. There's no way T-Mobile didn't think, well, hey, if Mint Mobile is successful, we let them use our network, we'll just, we'll just take them over. And that's exactly what they did here. So congratulations to those who have Mint Mobile. If you have a Mint Mobile plan and you really enjoy it, put your, put your comments down in the comment section below. I wanna know what I'm missing. Because honestly, I think I figured it out. The only real difference to your plan versus some other plan right now is you pay three months in advance. Oh, and you got a, a really good deal at the beginning, right? Don't get suckered into these things. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're stuck or you're forced to be under a carrier's wing. That's what they're doing here with Mint Mobile. That's what T-Mobile is now doing by acquiring them. They've increased their customer base, right? They sure had those same customers already on their network. They know they can handle those customers. They're just taking those customers and sending you out T-Mobile bills now instead of Mint Mobile bills. I don't want anybody to be fooled. I don't, I don't want anybody to think differently of, of what wireless carriers are out to do. They are out to take care of their shareholders. They are out to make more money. They are not out to helping you. They have three competing networks. They're all different technologies. They all claim to be 5G. Yes, it is under the 5G umbrella, but those, those networks are separate networks. They're managed separately. They, they pay for them separately. We're paying as a society for three different networks to do the same thing. That is absolutely shocking to me that people don't understand or realize that, that that's what we're doing. Oh, I can switch from AT&T to Verizon. Oh, I can switch from T-Mobile to 
Mint Mobile, or I could switch from this network to this. That's great. It just requires a sim and some programming. Oh, and a little money, right? When you go to change. Oh, and this network may not be great here, but this other network's great here. Why are we competing like this? Why is this the way it works? Why, why can't we all just play along in the same place and have good service everywhere, right? Why can't all three of these companies invest in the same thing? They're not. They're investing in 5G for, for sure, but 5G is a iteration of wireless technology throughout the years that has changed over time. And when we started, it was very segmented. And now they're more on the same page than ever, but they're not quite there yet. T-Mobile buying Mint Mobile is not a surprise to me. It's a surprise to me that it's so glossed over and, and allowed to be in a two minute commercial as, hey, this is a big joke. This is so funny. It's not funny, folks. We're, we're, we're at a very serious time in telecommunications history. And I hope that this has really helped you a little bit. I hope you, I hope you see something in this video. If you don't, tell me I'm a shill and, I, I, and all I do is hate, hate on big wireless. I don't care. Um, I'm out to point out something because I honestly think, you know, as funny as Ryan Reynolds is in movies, he's not funny when it comes to this. That's just my opinion, right? You can take it for what it is. Um, don't sue me. <laughs> um, so with that, that's what I have. Please put in the comment section below what you think. I've spent a lot of time rambling. I ramble a lot on this channel about different topics. Please go check out some of my other videos. If you're new to this channel, if you've come to this channel thinking, well, what's this guy doing? Like, go check out what I've done. I've done a lot of work on this channel uh, already to try to help you understand kind of the things that I do. But would love to hear from you down below. If you like this format, if you like things that I'm doing here with these reactions, I'd love to react to other videos. There are a bunch of Verizon commercials I could do the same thing with. I don't know. I, I, I feel like Verizon is just as bad right now as Ryan Reynolds. Would love to keep doing these types of reactions because I feel like um, they gloss over a lot of details that most people aren't really paying attention to. And then they put that fine print at the bottom and they're thinking, oh, you're not going to see it. And you're not going to care because, hey, you've gotten on the train with us. I'm Ken Ross. Please like and share this video. Let, tell other people about my channel and visit my website, IamKenRoss.com. And until I see you next time, I'll see you around. Thanks for going with me on the ride. I really enjoy it.